Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, unexpectedly, I'm coming at you with the brand new Monster High Holiday Edition uh, Claudine Wolf doll. Uh, I ordered her on um, Mattel Creations. She was $45. It said she was going to ship sometime on or after, I believe, like October 27th. But she shipped the very next day. <laughs> so we are going to take a look at her box. We're going to get her out, and I definitely want to know what you guys think. All right, so like I said, there was very unexpected shipping. I figured I'd be waiting a good month for her, and lo and behold, she's here all already um so that's really awesome she was 45 dollars on mattel creations as a pre-order you'll see here it does say winter edition of course there we have the monster high holiday logo love it we have all of the phases of the moon and stars and some ribbons here along the box along with the uh, monster high skull in the middle of some snowflakes because of course this is still kind of like you know a christmas <laughs> i guess if you will doll we have the wolf paw there i think that's a really kind of a fun thing some uh, crossbones there the monster high skull which i love it because it's got uh, claudine's ears and her fangs and her little ear piercings which i think is super cute uh, on the back we have beautiful uh, photography artwork of the doll itself and then of course um on the bottom here there it is is her upc now i don't know if she's going to show up in stores or not she is or at least was on amazon as well for pre-order uh, but i know the original pre-orders did sell out i think within a couple of hours of it going live um but uh she is still up on the mattel creation so i will link to her one way or another down below in the descriptions uh, so hopefully after you guys watch this you'll be able to decide whether or not you want to place an order yourself but anyhow let's go ahead now and let's get her out of this box and let's take a good look at all of her details okay so i do have claudine out we'll take a quick look at her certificate of authenticity first here so if you do want to pause and read it here you certainly can um just a little slim uh piece of paper with some embossing there work on the background of some spider webs and then of course the how would they logo there at the top really cute little um certificate there now she does come with that awful saddle strap stand however i will say for this dress style it's fine because this dress style is so tight right here that it actually keeps her from falling forward or falling backwards it does work for this style of doll uh style of dress excuse me so um again we just have a purple stand here with the monster high skull logo now on to claudine herself we have a beautiful holiday edition uh, doll here of course with the g1 face mold lots and lots and lots of very um messy <laughs> very very messy air nothing like the box nothing like the box at all so that's what was in the box uh artwork or photos and then this is what actually comes in the mail <laughs> so in order to achieve that look i will have to boil wash and then curl and boil and curl and boil and curl for hours um we'll get there but anyhow lots of hair though and it is very 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 soft so i do like it it's a good mix of purple and blue kind of a blue teal almost um really pretty hair she has a headpiece on plastic uh gold there kind of molded with the the phases of the moon as well as some stars cute not sure i love it but it is cute um and it is just kind of tacked into her head i i may take it out i don't know we'll see i haven't really decided yet what i want to do with it for now it's going to stay on though coming down of course we do have a new type of eyebrow i think for her is it yeah, no nah, it looks just like the g1 um very nice face paint i i love the face up on this doll it looks so good deep royal purple eyeshadow with some gold highlighting on the bottom there gold glitter lips just like the iridescent line i think cleo has gold glitter on her lips yeah so very similar to that really really nice cannot get over how beautiful her, her face is coming down she does have on this cute little uh, black bow around her neck with a little gold uh, moon. And then she has a faux fur kind of a wrap. Um, this does come off. I just haven't taken it off yet. Uh, I think it just looks really cool. So, <laughs> you know, I'll get there. On this, on her left arm, she does have a little bow that matches her necklace. Of course, so it's pretty much the exact same uh, look there. Just with some gold flecking in there, some gold glitter, as well as the moon. Coming down to her dress, she does have a sweetheart neckline and then a fit and flare kind of trumpet style mermaid style whatever you want to call it um dress i'm not sure what this fabric is it's pretty i don't know how to describe it um 
No, I don't know. It's interesting. <laughs> but it does have this really cool spiderweb diamond and moon design kind of screen printed on there. And then the background kind of looks like a, a purple, um, almost like a purple marble paint look almost. And then underneath that is just a little layer of black tooling that just kind of flares out. So really, really nice design. She does have a plastic gold belt with the moon phases on it as well. Her shoes never disappoint. Very fun, high-heeled, purple um, boot-type shoes with the crescent moon on there. Made to look kind of like chunky purple ice almost, or spider webs. I'm not quite sure which, but I do like them. They've got some, um, some glitter kind of embedded in the plastic there, so really a nice touch on those. Uh, just all around a really, 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 really good design on this doll. Um, points of articulation, of course, as always, you can move the head around all you want. The arms can go up, down, forwards, backwards, and then they can uh, spin and pivot at the elbow, as well as at the wrist. The legs are somewhat confined, of course, by the dress itself, but she can bend forward and then they can go backwards and then out a little bit. And then of course at the knee, you can see here, you can spin and then also bend back uh, as, you know, like that if you need to. But uh, that's it for the articulation on the leg though. There's nothing at the ankle. Um, and I don't believe, yeah, there's nothing at the bust line on these dolls. So really, really, really cool design. Love this uh, Claudine for the holiday edition Monster High. Really quickly, I did want to show you um, Claudine next to her predecessor, of course, last year's Howliday Edition doll, which would have been Draculaura. Uh, these two together look fantastic. So I think that um, the Draculaura kind of gives a little bit more of a wintry vibe, but a very much gothic wintry vibe. Claudine just kind of gives this like evening elegance. I don't know. I just, I love them both. So really, really glad I did decide to go ahead and bite the bullet on Claudine and get her. Um, I'm excited to see who they do next year, which I'm sure it'll probably be Frankie. <laughs> I just have a gut feeling, but we'll see. You know, we've got a year to find out. But anyhow, yes. Yeah, so there are the two are side by side. All right, everybody. Well, that is going to do it for my review of the brand new Monster High Holiday Winter Edition Claudine doll. Hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions about her or any other item uh, on my channel, please do by all means leave those in this uh, comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Otherwise, stay tuned. Hopefully more to come. It's been kind of a slow time for releases and I've had a lot going on personally, so it's just been hard to get some reviews in. Um, but definitely stay tuned. I, I try to post as often as I can. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying what's been coming. Anyhow, again, hope everybody enjoyed. Hope everybody, hope everybody's having an extra magical day and we will see you real soon.